What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Power Button Podcast, episode 36. I am your co-host, Josh Meany, and who the hell is this? I am your other co-host, Darren Badmouth Beasley, and today... Um, we're going to continue we our today? trend well, of huh? Marvel topics. We're going to continue topics, our trend right. of Marvel topics. Uh, today, yeah. we have a debate, debacle, a discussion. We're going to talk about the MCU villain that we... How, how did we word this? That we would agree with the most, basically. Obviously, uh, you can't agree with any villain completely because then we would be fucking psychotic. I, I don't think <laughs> – I, I wouldn't use the term agree. I think it was – Understand, perhaps? Uh, understand or relate to the most, not right. Not agree. <laughs> I, I certainly don't agree with my choice at all. <laughs> Um, who would be the MCU villain that you could it, understand the most? Okay, so here here's my my take on that. I I selected Captain America. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know that sounds strange to anybody listening. Like, well, Captain America is not a villain, right? But I'm talking about mm-hmm. Captain America from Civil War, and I believe that if there is anybody who did anything wrong in the MCU, uh. Whether it's, I mean, I I would say that's as villainous as a hero could get in my perception of things because I'm on more on Iron Man's side than I am Captain America's side. Captain America would be a villain or the bad guy in that movie. And therefore, right. my pick would have to go to him because he has yeah, to be the most Depending on whose rational. side you're on, really, when you go into that movie. If you're right. Team Cap, then Iron Man's like the villain of the movie. Right. Either, yeah. Either if you watch Civil War and you think someone is the, the good guy and the bad guy, then or the you know the hero and the villain, then I I was Iron Man hero, Captain America villain. So mm-hmm. that's that's what. And I'm I'm drinking out of a Captain America cup just to really tap it top, top it all off. You know. Fuck yeah, my pick is, I'm blanking on the name. I'm completely blank. You know who my pick is? Ant Man and the Wasp. Ghost. Uh, Ghost. So my pick is Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, yeah. My reasoning, I, I've had days to think about this, and it's kind of, my reasoning is actually really simple. Just the fact that she's doing what she's doing because she really has, it, it comes down to, I got to do this or I'm going to die. Right. That's basically it. And to me, that's number fucking one out of every villain's, like their motive, their motivation. Like I'm, I, I gotta do this, or I'm going to die. I'm literally dying. I'm doing this. I'm fighting for my life. Nothing tops that for me. Okay, like, and nothing so, tops that for me. So I think that's a pretty goddamn strong argument. <laughs> it, but and it's so simple too. You know, it's so strong and yet so simple. And it's like, and also I want to add that she didn't put herself in that situation. That was her dad's fault. Because of his experimentation and all that. So he, she didn't really have a choice in the matter. Now she's just has to deal with this. And it's like, okay, I know what I got to do to survive. This is my only way to survive. I didn't put myself even in this situation. Because it would be a little different if, like, she was messing around. You know, and she did that to herself. Like Red Skull, you know, he did that yeah. to himself. Um, but that adds to it to me, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's not her fault. She's just fighting for her life, really. Right. And, and yeah, like. And that's, I mean, that might be the most justified villain. Um, I might have, I might have picked a, a shittier option here. <laughs> well, like I said, when we we had like a real short discussion about it, real quick. Of course, when I told you my pick, you told me your pick, and I told you I'm like that. Your pick is a fucking good pick. I didn't even think of that. I was thinking of like a Loki, a Thanos. You know what I mean? I wasn't thinking. Of Captain America, right? But that would be a good if you're Team Iron Man and you agree with Iron Man 100. percent Cap is in the yeah. wrong. Uh, well, uh, here's the thing: I'm trying. Uh, as, that guy, almost. Hey, yeah, right. As, as you're as you're talking, I'm trying to think of like a good argument against what it is that you're saying, even though I think it's a pretty solid argument. Like how how would I undermine what it is that you know if if, if you're doing it simply because you're trying to live, right? So I guess the only counter argument that would be compelling in any way to, to, that would make anybody choose Captain America over Ghost 
And I feel like I know what you're going to say because there's a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> is that Captain America, his villainy in that movie is not to the same extent as Ghost's. No, and no. nobody's Ghost life is, is really willing on the line. to kill people. Like. Right, he's not trying to kill anybody. And at the mm-hmm. same time, it's like, okay, Ghost. There's a lot of scenarios, right? Oh, I'm gonna put this one on you, <laughs> and you can rebut that. I haven't really thought because honestly, when you said Ghost, I couldn't remember what it was. I remember Ghost being a character that I was like, damn, that's a good one, but I couldn't mm-hmm. like think exactly of what it was about her that was that made her up there in my mind. And now right. that and it's it, things that like that that make such great villains, like when the ones that you can oh, understand the most, like that's why Magneto is one of the greatest villains. You know what I mean? Right, For right. me, and anyway, so, in my personal opinion. Yeah. And, and so when you said that it was life or death, that's what reminded me. So I'm sort of caught off. I'm sort of caught by surprise by this. I have to kind of think on my feet here. But um, um, yeah, just Captain America not killing anybody. And listen, if you... If you needed to get something done in order to survive, would you kill me? Well, that's a little different because you're going to kill my friend. I mean, I wouldn't kill my friend. She wasn't going to kill anyone really close to her. She was willing to sacrifice someone she doesn't even know. Now, oh man, this is going to make me sound fucked up. But would I do something like that? Maybe. (laughs) Like, maybe. You know, if I'm really... And she's in pain, too. That's another thing that adds to it. She's in literal physical pain constantly. So right, right, she's right. suffering. I understand Not only that. she's dying, so, she's literally, like, suffering. So so here's the thing, though. You have a choice between Captain America and siding with him, or you have a choice between Ghost, right? Now, here's the thing. I mean, Ghost is a compelling one, right? I think these are two good options. Mm-hmm. But but in the death of somebody else, how are you going to – let's say you killed somebody to to save yourself from this mm-hmm. death, this slow death, right? How would you feel after that? Terrible. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But right. see, that's the thing because when it comes down to – because that ah, that's what makes our pick so different too because Captain America isn't actually really a villain. He's mm-hmm. not willing – he's not going to – there was a whole battle at the airport, but no one was trying to kill each other, like actually right. try to kill each other where Ghost was. Yeah. And like she's actually not really a terrible person. Like you see that by the end even though she was doing fucked up shit. She wasn't – out doing mass murders, she was willing to take this life to save her own, which is fucked up, but I can get down with that more than just like, oh man, see, now I'm just sounding like a fucking asshole. <laughs> 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 because Cap- Captain America's reason is he's he's just trying to defend his friend, which is good. Yeah. That's fucking good. You know, like that's your best friend. Um, But I, I, I don't put that over me being in physical pain and I'm dying and only well, sacrifice I have to Josh, make is this person that I don't even know. <laughs> Josh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's it's the murder. It's the death. That's the that's the big difference. Like there obviously is a difference between their motives for sure for mm-hmm. doing something wrong, but what they're actually doing wrong is completely different. Completely right, different. right. That's why your pick was like, fuck, you know what I mean? Because I'm thinking of villains who all the villains that I was thinking of have done fucked up shit because they're villains. So I, I, I was thinking, who do I get down with the most? But obviously I could never completely get down with them because they're doing villainy things. Oh, man. In, God, in comparison to Captain up. America, <laughs> in comparison to Captain America, I still – I'm you, thinking I'm, strictly the reasoning and not what they were doing. I'm thinking strictly their reason because obviously Ghost was doing more fucked up shit, and I don't agree with the shit she was doing to get there, but I agree with her reasoning more than I agree with Captain America's reason for doing what he was doing. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, I mean that, and that's that's fine. That makes sense. But it's but what mm-hmm. I'm talking about, and and actually, that's that's the leg that you have to stand on, right? That that would be the most compelling argument to make is that a ghost even has a better reason to go and do things to be right. to be villainous to be wrong, right? But yeah, yeah. but it's to it's to what she does. It's to the extent at where she goes that that's where my uh, argument stance, 
You know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, Captain yeah. America yeah. wasn't going to kill anybody. He could have killed no. Tony Stark and he didn't. Mm-hmm. He was it, not he was not going to kill anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he, was he wasn't fucking he, close at one point, but yeah, but yeah, and I know what you mean. He wasn't going to do it. And so and Ghost was. And at the end of the day, like I said, when I asked you, you know, what if you did that and you killed someone to save yourself and then after you saved yourself, you're going to have to be the one to deal with the fact that you just killed somebody. Yeah. Captain America, not so much. He could save Bucky, and then at the end of the day, he'd be like, okay, I got in a fight with Iron Man, but no one died. Yeah, like Iron Man was trying to kill <laughs> fucking Bucky in the movie. He was actually yeah. going to kill somebody. And and is he the villain for mm. wanting to kill Bucky? Oh, that's a, that's a whole Depends whose side you're thing. on. Depends who's, who you agree with and, mm. and that whole mm. thing. No, no, no. I'm saying not necessarily that because – because Iron Man, this is going to get into like a kind of a different debate, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Iron Man and Captain America had the dispute over Bucky for sure, right? Right. But it wasn't until the end to where Iron Man wanted to kill Bucky. Right. Right. His so, reasoning, I. So you're saying his reasoning for doing that? Can I get down with that? You get down with Iron Man's reasoning to kill Bucky. Yes. I get, I 100% understand his blind rage if i <laughs> i get it dude if you killed my mom <laughs> but i'm not but, but you were you brainwashed don't know Bucky, and you uh, were uh, right okay so that makes it even fucking easier for me that makes it even easier because it's like okay this dude he didn't know what he was doing the fuck do i care the fuck do i care you know, like you say, one of your friends. So you're, I'm Iron Man. You're Captain America. Let's say, uh, JJ killed my mom. <laughs> yeah. But he was brainwashed. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's watching this, yo. <laughs> yeah, but but if you, I mean, okay, I understand. I think I think I think in the moment someone could make that decision. But I think if you were to sit mm-hmm. down and think about it, you know, to kill somebody when they were not responsible. Not responsible for what they did. It's not a drunk driver where it's like you chose to drink mm-hmm. and then got in the car. Yeah, no, yeah. you were completely you. You got taken by. You were gonna die, and they stole your body oh, and they reprogrammed you. That's you know. the hardest decision in the fucking world. Oh my god! I don't think Iron Man should have tried. Would to it kill be wrong? Bucky. Yeah, but it's like, oh man, because I feel like I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be satisfied with my decision. No matter what I did, it's like, okay, let me do the right thing. Like, he didn't know what he was doing, but then it's like, okay, but this fucker's living. And, like, especially seeing it, especially seeing it like Tony did, he saw the video. That's some hard shit to do. Yeah. And, man, like, and he yeah. got over it eventually, obviously. And Tony Stark's yeah. just much better man than I will ever be because <laughs> I, I don't know how I would deal with that, dude. It's like, yes, I understand. He had no control, but I watched you kill my mom on video. I right. I just I'm not satisfied with you breathing, but I'm right. not like uh, yeah. Either way, I'm just not satisfied. That's that's a fucking rough one. That is a rough one. Yeah. Well, I think that changes the uh, the perspective a little bit, but mm-hmm. but I I still yeah I'd have to go with Captain America over Ghost just because. He, his ends, his ends, the worst things that he does don't involve death. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's what it comes down to. At the end of the day, yeah, at the yeah. end of the day, after that's all said and done, he's still Captain America. Right. You know? I feel like you cheated. I feel like I cheated too. <laughs> I feel like I picked an option that was just too too. It was, was too, too fire. pure. You picked the purest man in the MCU as your villain pick. You <laughs> fucking pick. <laughs> and, and okay, and just to clarify, but even then what, though, even then though, like it, the debate still stands for me though. I still, even with Captain America in the debate, I I still gotta give the edge to Ghost. There's just but that's she scary. Kills that's just people. so. Did she kill anyone? No, but she would have. She would. She would. She was out to kill the one person. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you th- do you think if it came down to it, right? And Tony Stark was on top of Bucky, and he was about to annihilate Bucky, and Cap had this one decision, <laughs> right? 
You mean, like, it, there was no stopping it unless he fucking threw the shield and just off Tony. Do you think Cap would have off Tony to save Bucky? If no. he was put in that situation, you don't think so? No. <laughs> Fuck, no. man. No. I don't think so at all. I don't think I don't think Captain America would have clipped Tony. Because, man, I don't Bucky. know, man. Them hits he was giving him when he was on top of Tony, them were some vicious fucking hits. When he shoved that shield into his chest, how did he know that shit wouldn't go any deeper? That, that, but he could have killed him, though. He could have killed him. could have killed him. He didn't. But it seemed like he was willing to, like... Like, he stopped because he knew Tony was neutralized at that point. Exactly. But, like, when would it have oh. stopped? Well, you know I what think... I'm saying, though? That's why he stopped when he was on top of him, because he was neutral. His shit was shut down. He was done. But if it wasn't, it's like, when are you going to stop? Because you're beating the shit out of him. What if he killed him? Eventually, he, he you're going to kill him if you keep hitting him. I don't so think... when would Cap stop? When would he fucking draw that line? Exactly. I, I really don't think he... I don't think Captain America has it in him to kill, really? Who does he even kill in the MCU? No one, really. Well, I don't think he kills anybody. I think he would have killed Red Skull. He would have killed Red Skull. Yeah. He oh, yeah, I'm sure he killed Nazis, He definitely right? would have. Yeah, yeah. I but think to he kill killed someone like... like Tony. I'm just saying, like, he's beating the living... They're beating the living shit out of each other. It's not... Pulling punches like it was at the airport fight. Okay, okay. Those so, two so what I'm were saying, out okay. for blood on each other. So, so despite the way, and this is this is a counter argument to what you presented, right? Despite the mm -hmm. way that it seemed, the way that he was beating on Tony, despite mm -hmm. it being he only stopped because he felt as though Tony was neutralized. I guess my mm -hmm. counter to that was he stopped because he wasn't going to kill him either way. Didn't matter if he was neutralized or not, mm -hmm. he wasn't going to kill him. I, I mean, that might be a weak counter argument but i just don't see captain america killing iron man over anything over anything it's yeah it's hard it's hard because we don't know too but like from my point of view in that moment it was like he was beating him until he stopped and if like what's he gonna do just be like okay i can't beat him let him fucking kill bucky like what does he do is he gonna let him kill bucky i don't think he would do that either like they were friends, but he's yeah, but still picking Bucky he's not over kill Tony. Iron Man. He's not gonna kill Iron Man to save Bucky. I don't think so. Oh, even if that was the only thing to save Bucky, you don't think he would? No, I don't think so. I don't think I he's willing think to he kill would. people I, to save Bucky. I don't think he is for the most. Well, no, I think he is to save Bucky. I really do. I think if it came down to it, and fucking Iron Man had his shit right to his face, and the only thing was like either let this happen or I throw my shield and fucking off him. I don't know, man. I think Cap might fucking do it. I really do. I don't it's think so, so against his character, but in that moment, like like I said, from what I'm seeing, he's beating the living shit out of Tony and doing whatever he can to make him stop. Yeah, like, but, but... He can do this all day. It's like, you know... And yeah, then Tony but... seemed like he was even willing to fucking take Cap down. I don't think he would have like, killed He Captain said it's the last time I'm going to tell you, stand down. <laughs> yeah, but but he could have he just – he could have knocked Captain America out. He could have knocked him unconscious. He tried. He, tried. he yeah, hit him a well, good one. He hit him a good one. <laughs> like, I think his intention was to fucking knock him out. Yeah, right probably. Here. But I, I think that <laughs> – I think their friendship is destroyed because Bucky exists and they're fighting over Bucky. Mm. But I honestly don't think, I genuinely don't believe that Iron Man would have killed Captain America or Captain America would have killed Iron Man. I don't think so. I don't know how Captain America would ever be able to be a human being if he did that. I feel like if he killed... It would destroy him. I feel sure. like if he killed Tony Stark and Bucky was like, thanks for saving me. I feel like he would just run away. I feel like he would just and like feel get like on he a couldn't plane. do either. Like even if it was switched to like if Bucky was about to kill Tony, couldn't do that either, right? Oh, he couldn't kill Bucky. No, can't kill anyone. And that's a good one. Could he have killed Bucky to save <laughs> Iron Man? Nah, nah. You don't think you don't think he has it in him? I think spur of the moment, man. I think he could have did it. I really do. I think he could have off Tony. If it was really coming down to he's about to fucking kill Bucky, 
And he believes in Bucky's innocence see, so I much. Would, I would toss it more up to Iron Man. I could see Iron Man potentially killing Captain America. Oh, well, I could see that more than Cap doing it. Yeah. I could see Iron Man, especially in the blind fury that yeah. he was in in that moment. Because I, I am also specifically talking about in that moment. Like, yeah, I don't right, think right. Cap would sit there and plot that he's going to, but I think spur of the moment, man. Spur of the moment? I don't think so because... I, I think I could see it. Because Iron Man is used to killing people. <laughs> yeah, that is true. We've had that talk. He's like an anti-hero. Right. He has, he has killed people. He kills people all the time. But Captain yeah. America, although Captain America has done some things where I don't know how someone would survive it. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like Especially in Winter Soldier, the fucking opening scene, he's on the boat. The way he's hitting people with that shield, I'm like, they're, they're dead. Oh, the way he's kicking them. He's kicking the shit out of them. But no, but he, and hitting throws, them with the shield. <laughs> he throws a motorcycle. I'm pretty sure it's Age of Ultron, the beginning of Age of Ultron. Doesn't he, like, throw his motorcycle at? Like a vehicle? He does like a flip and like tosses it, right? Yeah, some something shit. like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I right mean, in the beginning. I mean, that could very well kill somebody, right? That happens a lot, though. It Also, when it comes to these superhero movies, there's a lot of those moments where it's like, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. That person's not supposed to kill. But if we really start breaking it down and thinking about it, those right. people are probably dead. More so than Iron Man, where it's like, okay, he's like, he kind of blatantly killed people. He's all the blatantly players. killing people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like the Punisher almost. <laughs> yeah, so so with that being said, I just don't see Captain America killing anybody he really cares about. He's not going to mm. kill. I it just it's just not going to happen. I don't see him it doesn't matter what he wouldn't kill Tony Stark unless it was going to say unless unless it was going to save the galaxy or something like that. He's mm. not going to kill anybody. Um he's going to just be like he's going to be corny and he's going to be like we're going to figure a way out of this. Don't worry, we'll think about it. Tony Stark's gonna be like, dude, the only way you're gonna get out of this is if you kill me. Captain America's gonna be like, no, no, no. And it's gonna and be. And then this... what does Cap do after he kills Bucky? Just, no. <laughs> I don't know. You know, maybe that'd be the thing to make Cap snap out of that patriotic, you know, good old golden boy thing. Like, just not... seeing Tony just kill Bucky, like. I don't know. Oh. I mean,. Well, here's the thing. I mean, Captain America let – he saw Bucky kill Tony's parents, and he didn't kill Bucky. He didn't – he didn't – he was still on Bucky's side, which is what I mm -hmm. vehemently disagree with. Well, I, right, but he wasn't there to see it, you know? I know, he wasn't, I know. You know, because, like, you think – because almost like a Superman and General Zod type thing, you know, even put oh. into that situation, you still don't think Cap would have it in him to do it? If it came down like he's about to kill this family, and it's like the only way to stop him from killing this family is if you kill him, he kills him. Do you th even in that situation? Do you think Cap still would not do it? I mean, okay, because I mean, let's, Superman's kind of like in the same on the same page when it comes to that stuff. But Superman had to kill Zod in that. In that well, okay, way. let's let's look at it from the MCU Captain America. Yep, right, yep. not the comic Captain America, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I I'm not sure. I mean, maybe, but that's the thing. I want to say, dog, like I really want to say that Captain America has killed someone in the MCU, like definitively without question. But I don't know if I could say that. Like he, he had a Thanos. gun in the first Avengers movie. He had a gun at one point on the plane. Yep. Mm -hmm. But did he shoot and actually kill anyone with it? I don't think so. I've seen him shoot it. He, he shot, shot it. He shot it in Captain America, the first Captain America movie. He was shooting that thing. It didn't show who he's shooting. It's just a, it's showing him and his boys, and he came in shooting, but it didn't show anyone he was shooting. Right. So. And, I mean, but that, but that's, isn't that a little bit different than, I mean, I guess he would be down with killing people. He has to be. He's, he's fighting these Nazis during World War II, right? So he's killing mm -hmm. these Nazis. But once it comes down to, like, people he really cares about or or, right, right. or just, like, after the war, after World War II, when I, when I feel like I don't have to kill anybody anymore, right. why am I going to kill, you know, any anyone for any reason? You know, I, I just mm. – I feel like he did it, but I don't think I remember a scene where he would. So I, I, I don't think did. they would have showed us any scenes like that. You know what I mean? Right. The MCU was pretty, like, this is the – the golden child of the MCU. Yeah, so and it might have he might have killed aliens, but mm -hmm. you know those I don't just, count. 
Yeah, and for right. some reason, you know what I mean? They're not human beings. Yeah, alien lives matter. Right, but they're not human. <laughs> so, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like... I'd feel a lot... I'd feel terrible if I was Captain America during Civil War. I'd feel horrible for what I just did. I disagree with Captain America completely. I don't think he did the right thing. That's why I think he's the villain. I think he did way too many bad deeds to protect somebody who is reasonably um reasonably hated like bucky is mm. reasonably hated he's right, he's right. reasonably hunted you know like yeah, i uh, partially agree with him like when it comes to the accords i agree with him yeah when okay. it comes to what was all going down it starts to become very foggy for me and very difficult cuz i went into the movie i was like team cap then I'm watching the movie and I'm like, no, well, Tony, like, I get why Tony's doing what he's doing, but, you know, he's doing, yeah. like, Cap's doing this for his friend. So I still stayed partially Team Cap. But then as far as it went, it was like, oh, man, I don't even know at this point. You're doing like, way too much for this guy who, by the way, might be your friend, but dog, I mean, you and I are friends, right? But mm -hmm. if you want a murderous killing spree, even if you weren't in control of it, and there were people out there, very serious people, very powerful people that wanted to capture you and hold you in prison. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd just fight off the entire planet. Right. And I feel sure like it would be I feel like it would be different if they were trying to kill Bucky. If that was the motive. Then it I think it would be a little bit different. But their motive right. literally was we're just gonna capture him and put him in prison. Right. right into that the raft. Um so, yeah, it kind of makes what he's doing a little ridiculous. It's like, oh, well, do you not see in any way while they're trying to capture Bucky? You know what I mean? Like, right. That's but the then thing. again, and he also knows that Bucky's not going out without a fight, which will probably cause him to end up dying. Yeah, so there's also that. Yeah, maybe. Because that, Bucky that wasn't Bucky's, going out without a fight. <laughs> right, but that's Bucky's responsibility at that point. You're not right, responsible yeah, yeah, for the yeah. way he fights. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know. I... Yeah, I, I just feel like I feel like okay. Picture that. Let's 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 break it down to this, right? I feel like you're gonna you're gonna be better off as Captain America during Civil War than you'd be better off as Ghost during Ant Man if both characters have their way. That's true. And I think that that I think that really sums up the the my point. Is if mm. if they're justified? Okay, if if you're saying that they're both justified, right? Which one would you rather be if if they both succeeded? You know, it's like I, well, I'd rather be Captain America. Yeah, if you think about it like that, then yeah. Like my thing is, I'm thinking strictly the reasoning and not everything that they really did. Again, that's why it made it so tricky that you're picking Cap and I'm picking a villain who right, did villain right. things. You know what I mean? Like if you picked Loki, you, well, know, you know what, what I'm saying? You know what I was thinking? You know what another pick I was thinking? Is Ronin. I do want to talk Ronin. I did want to talk about some like honorable mentions, different yes. people that we were thinking about. Yes, yeah, so honorable mentions is Ronin from Guardians of the Galaxy. Ronin. Now, now Why? here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I'm and I might have my lore confused. I have mm. I might have my lore confused, but I thought about this, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I may be gravely mistaken. From my understanding. From the point, not Ronan before we see him in Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Not this genocidal maniac, because I'm pretty sure he just went around killing, slaughtering people. I don't yeah, understand that at all. But <laughs> he goes off, and he wants to get the Power Stone. He actually gets the Power Stone, right? He Notice he doesn't kill the Guardians, because he, he finds Drax or whatever. He fights them. He doesn't kill them. He throws them in that pool. Yeah, he's getting some scuffles, but it's nothing big. He really just wants a power stone. He gets the power stone, puts it in his hammer, and Thanos is like, oh, okay, you got the power stone. You got to give it to me. And he's like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to come after you and take you down for pushing me to this point. You literally are the only reason why I'm doing this shit, why I'm mean, in this scenario in the first place. And why am I collecting the stone for you? I get the stone. I'll be able to take you out and get the gems for myself. May, well, I don't know if he wants to get the gems for himself, but he just wants to get Thanos off his back. And it's like, dude, if you let Ronan just go on his own, like if the Guardians of the Galaxy didn't stop him and Ronan took his army and everything and went right after Thanos and he had the power stone, 
you know, what could he have done to Thanos? Could he have taken out Thanos? Damn. Yeah. No, he probably, yeah, he could have, you know, and if he, Oh, I don't give a shit about the, I got a call from someone. Um, yeah. So I, I, you know, is that, that motive I thought was interesting. Now, I don't know if that can, Mm -hmm. I can't really justify again, everything he did before guardians of the galaxy. I don't know what he would do if he killed Thanos. Like if Ronan went ahead and killed Thanos, um, then what? You know, I, I don't think mm-hmm. he's powerful enough to hold all the Infinity Stones. I don't know what he would do, but I think yeah, he'd be taken curious. out by the Avengers anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, obviously. Yeah. If they end up taking out Thanos eventually with all of them. I mean. Yeah, so they're going to get the stones either way, and they're going to... That's an interesting. That's an interesting one. I was thinking Um, one of the first people I thought of was uh, Vulture from... Homecoming, oh yeah, um, cause like I mean he he got fucked, you know what I mean. And the funny thing about Vulture, up until a point, and I'll explain, is he wasn't out killing people. He was just robbing and selling weapons to support yeah. his family. <laughs> but there is this weird snapping point that still makes me giggle every time I see Homecoming, and he's like. The spider guy comes out of nowhere and he tries to break down everything that I've built. There's a pause. He goes, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> I'm like, that's kind of out of character for who you are, is it? Right, right. So other than that, him actually, like, he ends up trying to kill Spider-Man. Like, I feel like his motivation was, like, I, I get it. I get it. Like, you were making a living for yourself. And then here comes, to- well, not Tony Stark specifically, but his company and they come in and do all that and then really you're not doing i mean okay selling illegal weapons yes that's bad but like in the grand scheme of villainy he's just yeah. selling weapons and he's trying to do one last heist and he's done you know when you think about it if spider-man just went all right let me just turn the blind eye this one time <laughs> maybe vulture <laughs> would have just sat back and he never would have had to deal with it you know it's not like tony stark isn't a fucking billionaire i mean he would have been able to handle that robbery you know like yeah i see what you're saying <laughs> like in comparison to other villains and i think i think that's an important note uh, an important note to to make here is that mm-hmm. every every honorable mention it's just no way shape or form could i justify killing other people or selling weapons on the black market as an individual myself but right. if you're talking about in comparison to other villains that is that Yes. Okay. Like, if you had to pick a villain, then okay. You know. I, yeah. I, you know. I think Vulture would be a very good pick. I really do. Yeah, I think I really so. Do. And I mean, even I mean, you think about Electro. Hmm. I mean, he's not in the MCU. And he's right, right, right. But he's like, he's also, he's not all there. You know, he's mentally unstable. You know, yeah. like he could use some counseling. You know what I mean? He just wanted to be seen. Like, it started off, you know, like, he just, you feel bad yeah. for the guy, you know what I mean? But then he hit, hits that point, like every villain, you know, they start doing things that are like, oh, fuck. But, um. Yeah, he gets insane. Other but... than that, though, in the MCU, it's just like, I don't know, I just think Vulture, really it. I mean, everyone else, they're pretty much villains. I mean, there is Whiplash, I guess. You know, because what happened with Whiplash? He was, his dad was killed because of something with Stark Industries, right? Is that what happened? I can't remember. I can't really remember because I feel like his reasoning was kind of like, oh, I see why you're pissed. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he was actually kind of a cool guy. (laughs) (laughs) All things aside. Um, But other than that, man, I mean, no, like Mandarin was fucked. Like, um, all the Iron Man villains were messed up. Um, I mean, I mean, Bucky's a cap out because he's <laughs> brainwashed. Right. Um, well, you Red could, Skull you... was messed up. Like, yeah, yeah, right. I mean, yeah, I guess Bucky doesn't count because he's not even mentally he's there. Not, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not fair to even pick him. Right. He's just brainwashed. It's a cop out. I said. A well, cap what about what about? <laughs> I mean, if you think about Ultron. Right, like Ultron. 
is yeah, you know, yeah, his ultimate goal is humans are destroying the planet, and he's just trying to he's just trying to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 it's further than up. that, further than that, he's just a machine. Right, right. He's just built. He's just mm-hmm. a construction from Tony's mind that went wrong. I mean, how? I mean, you say, "Oh, he's got AI." It's like, okay, but is he? Is he? Is his consciousness? Does his consciousness have more weight to it than mm-hmm. Bucky's? And maybe he's right, you know, because it's like Vision's also an AI, but he has emotion. You know, that's where. Because of the what is it? The soul stone is in his head, right? So yeah, he the has soul stone. a soul. He has emotion, but maybe if you take all the motion aside, is Ultron maybe correct? You know, he sees everything that humans are doing to each other, to the planet. It's like his he was built to save the world. Right. So that's what he's gonna do. So if he if he thinks so, that humans are ruining the world, then he then wants to eliminate all Then if you all take humans. emotion out, because Vision has emotion, that's why he's he's like Ultron with emotion. But here's so here's, it's like. But the counter to Ultron's that though, kind of right in his are thing. You, you you would have to say though, you would have to say Earth because this is what's weird. Humans are a part of the world. Right, Earth. He yeah, but that's what he's built to a shield around the Earth. You know, like he he was built to protect the Earth. And then, and then on top of that, it's like okay. The way he sees it, it's like the, the way he sees showed it, it's up. Like that way, but villains started showing up after, like right now. But here's, to it. Here's the thing. Here, I, I, that's confusing. Well, it's 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 tricky because you're like dog. If you're if you made Ultron to protect Earth, right? You mean human beings on Earth, not the planet well, itself. Well, Tony apparently wasn't fucking specific in the programming, <laughs> and he just typed Earth instead of everything in it. <laughs> right, right. And so that that is bizarre. So again, that is that's bizarre. not really Ultron's fault. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's just in his programming. It's If it's in his programming and he's an AI. But, but let's say, though, Josh, let's say, though, that his artificial intelligence is, is just like, out of this world, and mm-hmm. let's say he overrid his programming, and he just decided on his own volition to do what he wanted to do, right? Just on the merit that Ultron is a machine. Just for all, all the 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 assumptions and characteristics that come with being a machine. Does his decision outweigh any human decision? That's a hard question, Doug. <laughs> because <laughs> you're having me compare. Like, I'm going to say no because I'm a human. You know what I'm saying? Like, does it outweigh any human decision? Well, no, because I'm a human making this choice right now. You know what and I'm saying? Like, right. So that's where it gets tricky. It's like I'm basing this off emotion. I'm, I'm a human being. Like, right. So that that and that's the thing. It's like so. That, Ultron yeah, could be. That's a good one. Ultron could be this villain that is uh, not justified, but in comparison to other villains, because he at the end of the day he is just a machine. He doesn't. Mm-hmm. He is not experiencing emotions. Like similar to Bucky. Similar to Bucky in a way, but he has more command over his thoughts than Bucky. Right. Yeah, that's a, that's a interesting. That's yeah, it is interesting. All right, we're out of time. Yes, yes, we are out of time. So that is our Marvel debate for this week. Be sure to catch us next week on the Power Button Podcast. Uh, we're going to be making some new changes to the podcast new look uh this is kind of the formula we're going to be using we're going to just only talk marvel some marvel news um just try to do like a different marvel debates and discussions every yeah. week um we missed you guys last week hope you had a good thanksgiving bitches and uh yeah be sure to like be sure to subscribe share with your friends talk about it and until next time peace out motherfuckers Thank you.